Hello everyone, this is Bonus and today's video is all about puff pastry, second part, right? If you have missed and if you haven't watched my previous videos, it's there in the description box, the part one of puff. Before, I mean, watch the part one first and then watch the second part it will help you to understand, you know, because this is a sequence. So, yep, here we go, we'll start the session. And we're gonna go for the rolling and folding process. So the butter slap, here we go, let's figure it out. So when it comes to butter, so the, this is going to be the dough, our dough, and this is going to be the butter slab. Okay, this is the butter slab, pure butter slab, and this is the dough. This is the dough which already we have given rest for one day. Right, so result of folding with this is going to be alternating layer dough and fat. Means the dough is this and the fat is the butter, the lean dough and the butter. Clear with this? So the alternating layer of this two is all about lamination. Clear? See, process and the result. How we achieve the crunchy crust and a light and airy texture. Or you can say flaky texture. Crunchy crust and a light and airy texture and flaky texture. How are we going to get? Here we go, the process. In the process of baking, the alternating layer of fat and the dough, here I mentioned you already, the fat dough, fat dough, because we're going to layer and going to go for the sheeta. That is why we're going to get a perfect alternative butter and dough. In the process of baking, the alternative layer of fat and dough, the butter melts, separating the dough into layers. I mean, already have said that the butter, the dough. The butter the dough the butter the dough when we're going to bake it to 10 degree okay to 10 Celsius so this butter will start melting okay this is gonna start melting so when they'll start melting so the moisture contained in the butter will start evaporating right I mean start releasing so that give you a nice puffness and a gap between the dough and the butter clear this is what exactly all about separating the dough into layers and the moisture in the butter creates a steam which helps the dough to rise and separate their layers as simple as that here the moisture in the butter matters here i'm going to talk about the butter right here the moisture in the butter matters i mean depends how much moisture contains in your butter this is also very important to know what kind of a butter you're using and how much moisture it contain, right? The most common and preferred choice of fat, means the butter, used for laminations is the unsalted dry butter. Unsalted dry butter, again, ask me why? Why? Because unsalted dry butter, first of all, in our dough, while mixing, I mean the dough, the lean dough, have a salt in it because dough should have salt it is a hydroscopic in nature so it will keep the dough tighter and why we add salt and always try to use salt at the last because uh, if the salt comes between the gluten i mean while kneading in the machine right here the flour and the dough dough is making this is the dough right making process so what happened if you put the salt at the same time this is hydroscopic in nature hydroscopic in nature it will affect the moisture and what happened here it will this salt will tighten the gluten if this will tight the gluten then it's going to be a problem tell me why because we want to develop the gluten but in the puff we don't want to develop completely but still we don't want salt to be affect our gluten for that reason when we see that okay fine our dough is pretty much good and near to form a gluten or you can say the window pin there we're going to add the salt before that don't add salt because it's going to be uh, troubling to the gluten to the gluten strands and also the moisture clear with this add salt always at the last clear with this so i mean every single thing has a logic right so why to add salt at the last why this butter is supposed to be unsalted, right? And why supposed to dry? See, the thing is, people say that whenever you're making any of a puff or croissant dough, one thing is very, very important is to use a dry 
butter which is most preferable from i mean the professional chefs the top professional chefs use always dry butter because you go for the laminating process right the dry butter helps to i mean helps comes to in temperature how because when you're laminating actually what happened the butter start melting up because again it comes under machine so when we're going to deal in the machine so what happened the butter will start melting up this will start melting up faster but if your butter doesn't have much of moisture so the butter will not going to melt and it will give you more time to work while laminating that is the only reason why we use dry butter dry butter will give you more time to work because when we going to go for the lamination process so what happen the dough and the butter simultaneously go for the work right means laminating each other so at the time what happen this dry butter will be having a very less moisture so while rolling and folding right so it will give us time because this also gives a little bit of heat because while laminating the dough and the butter is getting pressed so what happened here the temperature change because see our hand also have a particular temperature so if you touch if you hold a one butter in your hand it will start melting just go and try figure it out keep a one dry butter in this hand and keep a normal moisture butter right you just figure it out which one melts faster just because we don't just because we want a good amount of time to deals with the laminating with the dough and the butter that's the reason we use dry butter here right that is the only reason so some people say like when we use for the lamination i mean when we go for the lamination process we always go for the ac air conditioner place so where uh, at least uh, the butter will not melt i mean again it will give a, a good amount of time for us to work while do laminating now you clear with this why dry butter here i have explained here we go let's figure it out why right dry butter contains minimum 82% of butter fat and when comes to the regular butter lack of flexibility and becomes brittle when it's cold see the thing is if you have a dry butter it will not going to go for the complete freeze or brittle just like a rock right it will give you a flexibility but when it comes to your uh, 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 high moisture butter fat you're using a high moisture butter or something a butter has a good amount of moisture in it what happen it gets freeze quickly just understand this is a very common sense thing if you using the high moisture butter and uh, dry butter which will be go very very brittle which will go harder this is already dry doesn't have a much of moisture in this so this will not going to freeze because there's no moisture a moisture get freezer faster right so here the moisture contains so this moisture will start frozen and that will give you a less i mean lack of flexibility so when you start folding with the dough i don't think so this will be good enough to work with and if this start melting then this will i mean you just cannot handle with the dough when it comes to lamination you have to be very very careful when it comes to the high moisture content butter so the dry butter will give you a flexibility right because this not go for completely freezing will give you more time and flexibility dry butter gives you more flexibility and more time right when it comes to lamination that's the only reason this is why i have i am explaining you that don't go for the high moisture go for the dry butter clear with this here we go so we add a small amount of flour to the butter so it can absorb the moisture and make it dry and flexible to work with means while laminating i told you i have clearly mentioned that why we use dry butter not moisture so here if you have so if you have a moisture butter but you want to make it dry then how are you going to do that here a question you just cannot go and purchase a, a dry butter just like that because it's very expensive you can make your own dry butter also so take your butter i mean the moisture one butter add a little bit of flour in it you can see here small amount of flour so what happened this the flour will start absorbing the moisture absorb the moisture to make it dry i mean how take a kitchen at bowl okay all the butter cut into dice put in this make a paddle 
petal attachment right put the butter in this mix it bring it to nice creamy add a little bit of flour in this mix it and then make a nice cube right and keep it inside the chiller simple as that add a little bit of flour so what happened the flour will absorb all the moisture which is there in the butter and that what makes your butter uh, dry simple as that we have to figure out the options what will be the next if I don't have a moisture if, if I have the moisture butter and I want to make it dry then how what will be the process this is the process simple as that because that really helps you give a really nice flexible to work while laminating clear with this see um, I know that I'm using some a few things back to back again and again because this is something which is very very important to understand when it comes to a puff it required a lot of skills technique and understanding each and every ingredients and the temperature every single thing here is I mean matters a lot you just cannot skip a one single technique because if you skip then the whole thing will get ruined or maybe you're not gonna get a perfect uh, kind of a result that what exactly you were looking for right that's the reason I'm giving more and more effort so at least you can figure it out and understand every single technique and people pay in lakhs to understand this technique what is the puff and how to make and what are the techniques because this is something that comes when you work back to back right again and again when you work then you get this techniques and, uh, and, and, and and the hand experience right to figure it out so I I have done this a lot of time for that reason I'm sharing the my techniques and uh, and and I know what are the points which is very very important to keep in mind before you go and start this process because I know ingredients are very expensive I don't really want to ruin right so I do really care for you guys that if you go for this one you should know at least this all things where you're gonna go for the quick process I mean everything is clear just go and process it second option you can use margarine or vegetable fat see I don't really say that I go for margarine but yes for the cost cutting people generally go for the margarine or vegetable fat which is just not good when it comes to the texture flavor no it's not gonna give you that great flavor when it comes to the a good brand I mean like president butter or you can go for the Allen uh, I mean Ellen Ware. those are like uh, really nice and uh, you can go for the Corman also those are butter like a very high professional butters and also bought it and has a really nice flavor in it actually that's the reason people always go for the high quality butters not for this but when it comes to cost cutting for sure but when it comes to cost cutting people is to go for mash and vegetable fat no other option right but let's figure it out I mean at least you should know that what are the second option we have if you don't really have butter what are things you can use so here the margarine and the vegetable fat which gives you a greasy feel in your palate I mean yes it is after taste I mean when you're eating I mean when you eat these products made out of it margarine vegetable fat so it will give you a right uh, a greasy fl uh, greasy texture you know a greasy uh, mouth feel so is there in your palate so you like okay that's very very greasy you can see on uh, the tongue right you can feel in the tongue but the melting point of the margin is higher than the butter right and it's more flexible in nature see the thing is margarine is kind of a what can I say like a kind of a grease uh, you have seen grease I mean uh, easy to appliable and easy to work with because it doesn't have much of uh, uh, I mean uh, doesn't have uh, much of water content I mean doesn't have much of moisture content that's the reason when we use this margarine it won't melt easily first of all that's the reason people love to work with margarine because it has a very less moisture very less and this like uh, won't melt easily so when it comes to lamination we want kind of a I mean why we use dry butter because of less moisture and this is like has a very less moisture and when it comes to compared to the butter butter melts faster with this no no way margin doesn't melt that easy that's the reason people like to work with the margarine so you don't really need any air conditioner nothing simply easily you can work with one more thing I want to add here when you go for the lamination process right make sure every single laminating when you do one fold go and give rest to your dough in every fold you should go and give rest to that dough okay the rest is important because when you work with the dough the dough needs a rest because we are this much thick dough we're making like this thin you're getting my point I mean after butter layer butter layer butter layer I'll show you I have the image here we go you can see this one this is the layers 
right this is for the layers the butter and this one the butter the flour i mean the dough butter dough butter this is the layer right so that thick flour i mean dough here the butter and we just keep laminating and we're bringing all together one one thin line right you can see the image thin line so so the dough required rest right so where it can go easily I mean stretchability right required rest if you are continuously working you'll exhaust it right just like that right a human works after that a one time you really need a break and then you will start work again so you are just gonna be refill your I mean restore your energy right just like that the dough and the butter also required same amount I mean a little rest work less rest and work rest and work just like that clear simple way I just want to explain you in a very simple way so you won't be get confused at what I'm really trying to say okay here got to know about the rest here we go here we got to know about the nature about the margarine that it don't really melt just like a butter so it gives you really nice more flexible which is more flexible in nature and uh, high in temperature when it comes to butter clear note which one is better here we go the flavor and color of the butter laminating is mostly appreciated by all and it has a better eating quality absolutely this is the vegetable fat doesn't have much that great flavor I mean aftertaste or you can say the palate experience is not that much great but when it comes to butter because this is something which is a natural fat natural milk fat contained right the butter fat so absolutely this will give you a really nice palate and nice experience when you're gonna eat this instead of eat this getting me <laughs> you clear with this at least till now I mean at least till here you are complete I mean uh, I mean clear with this thing right what exactly I'm trying to explain you uh, don't forget to subscribe see this video is gonna be this topic is gonna be very very long this is all about my experience my techniques everything that I'm sharing with you I mean, people used to pay for this man but I'm just giving you for free so I uh, utilize this in the best manner and share because sharing is caring that's the reason I am doing it here itself for you so just focus till then Perfect.